a fucking beautiful, <laughs> fantastic bet um, for Sunday. This might be my best bet of the day. All right. We're looking at James Madison. Um, James Madison right now averaging over 424 yards, 34 points per game, and 230 rushing yards per game, which I believe is in the top 10 in the nation. So this team is a scoring juggernaut and an offensive uh, superpower uh, in the in the nation. And they're going against the, I think it's the, was it the Golden Eagles? I believe from not Southern Miss, Golden Eagles, yeah. I believe, who are struggling. One in five um, is their record, and they just can't get it together. They are two. They they switched their quarterback last game. Um, I don't know if he's starting or not, but it really doesn't matter. He's played two games and has has, has four picks and no touchdowns. And then the starting quarterback, who was in, I believe, has uh, three touchdowns and and four picks. So combined between the two of them, they have three touchdowns and seven picks. So this team is struggling offensively, going against. Uh, a very good James Madison team at James Madison. And I'm going with team total here. Um, it's a little high here on ESPN. It was 38 and a half, but I'm going, I'm sorry. I'm going with first half team total. Um, Got to Yeah. It's, it's, this is not, this is not the, the line I want. So let me switch it up real here. It's 20 and a half. And I actually, I really love that. Bet. James Madison over 20 and a half is a fucking beautiful, <laughs> fantastic bet um, for Sunday. This might be my best bet of the day, to be honest with you. Oh, where is it at? Because I know it's a 3.30 game. I would get on this bet right now because if uh, Parks Bets has it at 21 and a half, that means ESPN is a little bit behind. If I can find the goddamn game. It's a 3.30 game, right? Uh-huh. Here it is. I would jump on this line right now. Yeah, still 20 and a half. They ain't going to sit there long. Need to jump on that bet right now. Over 20, over 20 and a half in the first half, total points. Team total for James Madison. I mean, yeah, Southern, Southern Miss is no good. So, first, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you would expect James Madison. I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. They're like, they're like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, one week into the next week. Maybe this is the other week, right? Lab, they they lay a stanker against Louisiana. They come back and d- d- dominate against Coastal Carolina, and then they lay a stanker last week um, against um, Georgia Southern. And so, Correct. this maybe this is the other week that they they get this another wake up call for them because their season is at stake. Um, they started off really hot. They were possibly potentially could be a possible late the, the, playoff team, like the later ranking playoff team. So that kind of went away when they lost to Louisiana. Definitely went away when they lost to Georgia Southern. So they're just saving hope to kind of make and win the conference at this point. Well, the, the key thing about this game is that those two games you that you talked about, the late stinkers, they were on the road, right? Yeah. At home, mm-hmm. at, at home this year, they haven't given up more than a touchdown. I like it. Garden Weber, 13. 13- 13 to 6. Ball State 63 to 7. Coastal Carolina 39 to 7. All their troubles, except for the, you know, the very beginning, but UL Monroe and Georgia Southern all on the road. I like them coming back home um, and taking care of business against a very bad Southern Miss Golden Eagles team. I feel you. I feel you. I do like that look, though. The team total. Yeah. So team total on ESPN bets. 